11 rack expansion pack items not showing up properly in Pro Tools. So if you've just bought a brand new 11 rack that came with Pro Tools 9 or Pro Tools 10 and was packaged with the ERXP pre-installed to the 11 rack or you previously had the 11 rack editor working properly in Pro Tools and then you went and say updated to a new version of Pro Tools and you were greeted with a screen such as this where it shows these little coil icons instead of a proper picture and you have the ERXP already installed on your 11 rack. The problem is you need to install the ERXP installer so the proper UI files get installed into the Pro Tools plugin folder. So we can see here I have a rig loaded calls A is A, E, and the amp being used is the DC Modern SOD. That was an amp added by the 11 rack expansion pack. If we look at the actual 11 rack it shows everything is properly loaded and the sound played will actually be of the SOD amp. But reflected in the 11 rack editor window in Pro Tools it's showing a tread plate and it's showing a 4x10 tweed bass cab which is completely wrong. It's also showing like the parametric EQ is not even showing up here. It's showing the delay is turned on when in reality the delay is actually off. That's because the UI files are all jumbled around because the actual 11 rack unit is using amps and effects that are not in the UI files in Pro Tools. And we can look at that here. We can see the 11 rack user interface files in the Pro Tools plugin folder are all from 2009. Now when the 11 rack came out, it came out with Pro Tools version 8.0.1. And these are the files that have been included in every version of Pro Tools since then and are still included in Pro Tools 10 today. Just these base files are included that will properly reflect a standard 11 rack, a non-ERXP 11 rack, an 11 rack with say version 1.0.3 firmware on it. So if we look at the new files, we can see something like the EQ. We can see that in the ERXP 11 EQ UI file, it's 3814 kilobytes. While if we look at the EQ file for the for a standard non-ERXP 11 rack, we can see it's 3670 kilobytes, so it's smaller. That's because a parametric EQ was added to the ERXP, so therefore the file is bigger. And you'll notice that reflected in several of the 11 rack ERXP UI files that they are larger files. Now there are some that are the same size and have the same date, such as the wall, it has the same date and is the same size as the old file, that's because nothing new was added to the wall. So now you know why, let's figure out how to fix it. So in order for Pro Tools to properly reflect the new items added by the ERXP, also known as firmware, 2.0.1, which is the latest version as of this video, we'll need to run the ERXP software, just the first section. So in order to do that, we'll have to close down Pro Tools. So we'll close Pro Tools, we'll save our session, or don't say whatever you want to do. Then you can come here to my blog site, I've made a nice little handy list of drivers and software you'll need for your 11 rack, or may need for your 11 rack, with links right to the Avid website where you can download your drivers and software. So we'll come down here to the ERXP installer software. You'll click this link, it'll take you to the Avid website where you can download the Windows version or the Mac version. So once you have downloaded the ERXP, uncompress it, double click the folder, and you'll want to run the 11 rack expansion pack. Now we'll take a look here again at our plugin folder. You'll see the dates are from 2009. And once you run the 11 rack expansion pack, you'll see that many of these have updated to dates from 2011. So we'll come over here and we'll double click our expansion pack. We'll click next, accept, next, and now it's installing the UI files. We can see the UI files have already been installed. You can see now the dates are from 2011, 2011, we still have some from 2009. That's because there is nothing new added to them by the expansion pack. So now we're done. It'll give you some instructions here about a firmware updater being placed on your desktop. So we'll click finish. We can see here that the firmware updater was placed on our desktop. Now we don't need this because our 11 rack is already updated to firmware 2.0.1. If you don't know how to check what firmware version you have, check out another video I posted called how to check your firmware version. So as long as you have 2.0.1, you do not need this firmware updater. And if your 11 rack came pre-installed with the ERXP, you won't be able to run this anyway because you don't have the proper serial number and ID codes. So we'll just delete this because we don't need it. And now we'll relaunch Pro Tools. So Pro Tools is launched. We'll go ahead and open our session. So now Pro Tools is loading our 11 rack editor window. Now we see Pro Tools is properly reflecting the ERXP items. Everything is lining up perfectly. We can check here. We can see a lot of our files now have dates from 2011. So we have the expansion pack installed. Our editor window is matching up properly. 
with our 11 rack. So now you're ready to get back and start playing with your 11 rack. Be sure to hold on to that ERXP installer that you downloaded because if you take your 11 rack to a colleague's house and he or she is using a version of Pro Tools that does not have the updated files, you'll need to run that first part of the ERXP on their computer as well if you want Pro Tools to have the proper representation of your updated 11 rack within the 11 rack editor window. And as I said before, if you update Pro Tools to a new version, many times you will have to rerun the first part of the ERXP in order to get those UI files inserted back into the Pro Tools plugin folder. So keep that in mind as well. Now in the future, Pro Tools may include the ERXP updated UI files, but as of the posting of this video, they are not included. Just the standard non-ERXP files are included. So you'll have to run the ERXP software if you want your 11 rec editor window to properly reflect your updated 11 rack. And again, to check if you have an updated 11 rack, it's very simple. Just, just check out my how to check the firmware version video.